down hi guys welcome back so today we are going to be having this beautiful natural matte look i just thought of doing a very natural neutral look for people who don't really like makeup and lately honestly that's how i've been feeling i've not been feeling like the too many colors and all of those i've just been feeling like this like i woke up like this kind of look <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just kidding. But um, in all honesty, I just felt, okay, let's just have something natural, something neutral, you know, something people can actually really relate with. And that's why I thought of doing this video. If you'd like to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. Thank so you. I'm going to start off by spraying my face with my e.l.f. Illuminating Mist. going to go in with the Embryolis moisturizer I'm gonna be going in with my Becca primer and you want to work that into your skin I'm going to be applying the primer and I'm using the MAC Soft Orca. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in Deep 71. It covers so much. At first it goes in dark, but over time, by the time I finish my highlight and my contour, like everything just balances up. I really... I'm going to be going in with the tag tape shape in tan sand and I want a mild highlight because this is our everyday look like this is a natural everyday look so it is about a shade or two lighter than my actual skin tone that's why we are using it if I really wanted to like do a bold look I would have gone like three shades lighter for my highlight so but because it's a natural look it's a natural look, yeah. That's why I'm going like two shades. So I'm just going to blend this in. And I really, really love this concealer. And also, if you don't want to use a concealer, if you feel it's going to be too heavy, you can actually just use a lighter shade of foundation, maybe like a shade lighter um, foundation. But I just like a concealer, you know, because of the eye bag and all of this. Like, it just helps to conceal it well. <laughs> so I'm going to be setting my entire face with this Ben Eye first. If you have an oily skin, you want to set your face first with like a loose powder. You can use any kind of loose powder. You want to set your overall face with that first. So at least you lock in your um, foundation and all of that. So I'm going to bake my under eye a little with the Ben Eye. Why I'm doing this is because of the fallout that I'm going to get from the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be going in with my contour, this is like a bronzer and I'm just going to slightly contour. I'm going in with the Zaron powder and I'm going in with this. I'm going in with this. We just want to slightly contour our nose. 
and I'm using a fluffy brush. If you use a fluffy brush, it's going to blend very well. And you can see this snatch nails. Like we are looking snatched already. I'm going to be using this natural matte shadow. This Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow. I like I like it because it has neutral colors and you know it has pink. So I'm going to be taking this color right here. I'm going to use that on my brow bone. I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. And I'm just going to use that to just set my brow bone concealer. I'm going to be going in with this color right here. It's called Strapless. I'm going to be using it as my transition color. And I'm using the um, Morphe 504 brush. So I went ahead to add just a bit of the primer and I'm going to be going with that same brush with that lead color. So I'm going back in with that um, brown color. Now one we use for our transition and as you can see it's just a very subtle eye look like with just one blending brush guys just one blending brush um, I'm going with the liner no crazy uh, bold liner just something very very soft you can see We're gonna be going in with our highlight guys and this is the mark extra dimension in show gold In with my coolie blush I'm gonna be going in with this Milani Amor matte lip cream in Covet And I'm going to be using Stripped. This is Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. And I'm just going to put that in the middle of my lips. And I'm just going to put the gloss just here. Just on my upper lip and just below here. Like, do you guys notice that I'm not smacking? Like, 
and not smacking my lips. Because the moment you smack your lips, finish. Like guys, this is so beautiful. It is beautiful. It is it is really nice, like. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I love creating this look because it's so simple, it's so sultry. Like you really can rock this look to anywhere. Honestly, I really love the fact that the neutral colors we didn't use a lot of brushes we didn't use a lot of products we didn't it was just very basic beautiful and i i really just like it what do you think thank you so much for pulling through till the end of this video i'm going to see you on my next one remember to stay beautiful i love you